Welcome to the official Travel Guide channel. We go through everything about travel, leisure, and travel recommendations. This video will show you everything you need to know about Venezuela and why you should add to your list of places you would like to visit. You cannot afford to pass on a trip to Venezuela if you're itching for an adventure to one of the world's most stunning nations. Venezuela is a gem to be discovered, a largely uncharted country with stunning locations. The options for tourists are essentially unlimited, ranging from idyllic beaches to dense jungles to dizzying climbs across the Andean highlands. Venezuela is one of the most urbanized nations in Latin America in a land of stunning natural beauty. It also boasts enormous coal, iron, ore, and gold reserves, in addition to some of the largest proven oil deposits in the world. However, many Venezuelans live in shanty settlements, some extending across the hillsides near the capital of Caracas, where poverty is common. Venezuela is a nation near the continent of South America's north. It is more significant than the combined region of France and Germany. It occupies a roughly triangular area. To the north is the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. To the east is Guyana. South Brazil and west is Colombia. Venezuela's central hub for industry, business, education, and tourism is Caracas, the capital city. In Venezuela, winters are brief, pleasant, muggy, dry, windy, and largely clear, whereas the summers are hot, miserable, and generally cloudy. The average annual temperature ranges from 65 degrees Fahrenheit to 92 degrees Fahrenheit, with lows of 59 degrees Fahrenheit and highs of 96 degrees Fahrenheit being rare. The tropical nation of Venezuela has two distinct seasons. Rainy months are May through October. November to April is the dry season. Venezuela can be visited all year round, although depending on what you want to do, some periods are preferable to others. Venezuela is considered one of 17 mega diverse countries in the world due to the vast array of ecosystems and habitats. These ecosystems include mountains, rainforests, savannas, coral reefs, and more. Number one, Out Roraima. Things like Mount Roraima are what you'd expect to see in a science fiction film. Guyana, Brazil, and Venezuela form this singular attraction's borders, a plateau that rises 7,671 feet above the rest of the forest. The travel vlog encourages you to scale the 400 meter high cliff walls if you're an accomplished climber. You can hike up the cliff over two days if your climbing abilities need to be improved to scale the walls. Hanima National Park contains the plateau. Number two, Angels Falls. The highest continuous waterfall on Earth is the Angels Fall, found in Kanema National Park and first discovered in the middle of the 1950s. From a gap near the Ayan Tipo Tabletop Mountain to the Devil's Canyon, the waterfall is 979 meters long. Planning a trip to the park to see this fantastic show in nature is possible. The only way to get to the park is by air, and the only way to get to the waterfall from the park is by boat. Several travel operators provide tours throughout the year, and these adventures are always noteworthy. Number three, Kanema National Park. Kanema National Park is the second largest park in the nation after Yellowstone and is home to numerous extraordinary natural treasures. Tipuas, or various tabletop plateau mountains, are particularly abundant in the park. The green iguana, the green armadillo, and the dusky parrot are just a few of the natural species that call Kanema National Park home. The majority of people visit the park by plane. Number four, Morocoi National Park. You can find natural marbles in the shape of islands, calves, and islets at Morocco National Park. Visitors can experience and take pleasure in the numerous beaches, which have lots of coral reefs or white sands. In this park, you can find a variety of species. The park is a hub of activities and offer a variety of experiences for visitors. Cayo Sombrero, Cayo Borancho, Playulita, and Playuila, which are excellent for snorkeling, are popular destinations for activities. Number five, Siru Otana. Atana Mountain. One of Venezuela's tabletop mountains is this one. A mountain is an excellent place for adventure, especially rock climbing, and it is home to a wide variety of life forms and extensive plant communities. This peak also allows for exotic base jumping. It is important to stress how challenging it is to get to Siru Atana. The mountain spans roughly 45 kilometers in size. Venezuela's predominant culture is a fusion of native and Spanish traditions and local Caribbean and Adin influences. People from Venezuela are friendly, hospitable, and open. Generally speaking, their mutual goal for justice and equality unites them. Venezuela cuisine is colorful and varied. There is no doubt that food lovers will be in for a fantastic culinary trip with all the European influences from Spain, Portugal, Italy, and France, as well as West African and Native American customs. Number one, ticoyuos. Ticoyuos are an everyday go-to dish in Venezuela when one is in the mood for a snack. You fry these puffy, pastry-wrapped, savory, quazo blanco cubes to create cheese-filled breadsticks. 
Takeos are a fantastic snack, bar chow, or party appetizer because the dough becomes delectably flaky and crispy after frying. Even though this dish is already excellent, the Travel Channel recommends dipping it in a sauce like guacamole from Venezuela. Number two, tostones or patacones. Tostones are a typical dish in Venezuela because plantains are a staple food in Latin America. People offer tostones as appetizers or side dishes to go with main courses. Unripe plantains, the dish's centipedes, are fried twice to give them the distinctive tostones texture. The plantain slices are removed from the pan after the first round of frying and blotted dry to eliminate the extra oil. After being hammered flat, they are perfectly golden fried. Patacones can also be used in place of bread to create a fried plantain sandwich and served as an appetizer or a snack. The sandwich contains various contents, including shredded roast chicken, tomato, lettuce, avocado, and cheese. Number three, empanada. Spain has left a lasting impression on its colonies' cuisine and culture. As a result, one of the most well-liked imports from the Spanish colonists is the empanada. An empanada, a baked or fried pastry, has a filling made of meat, cheese, veggies, and other items. The meaning of the phrase which translates to wrapped in bread. The toasted dough used to make the classic Venezuelan empanada is formed from grounded maize and turns yellow from the annato used to color it. You can also make it using wheat flour. Although there are many different fillings, cheese is ubiquitous. They may be pabellin, a full-on dinner inside, or domino, cheese, and black bean combination. Number four, cachapa. The classic Venezuelan meal cachapa originated in the country's north central area, where its native inhabitants raised corn and revered it as having divine origins. It is a thin pancake prepared in a puder using freshly ground maize, white cheese, panela, and sugar. It is typically folded in half, filled with quasi di mano, and served with chicara. It can be eaten as an appetizer or as a full breakfast. They resemble pancakes. However, it has a thicker and more uneven texture due to the additional maize. Each bite is a savory version, which has a crispy exterior and a fluffy interior, and is a delectable experience. It would take a lifetime to fully appreciate all of Venezuela's breathtaking beaches, and it would be impossible to name them all. Number one, Madrisq. On the island of El Gran Roque, there is a place called Madrisq that has some of the finest white sands you'll ever see. Here, the waves are breathtaking, and the sand is so thin and powdery that it almost seems like sugar. It is one of the best family beaches in Venezuela because of the calm waves and shallow seas off the coast, which are ideal for small children to splash around in. This beach offers fishing opportunities, and it is not unusual to see anglers casting their lines to see what they can reel in. Madrid's Q's proximity to some excellent taverns and restaurants allow you to spend an entire day without running out of food. Number two, Cayo de Agua. Cayo de Agua offers a long, narrow stretch of fine white sand and has the sensation of a secluded tropical island. Despite being a well-known beach in Venezuela, it always feels energized and allows tourists to unwind by lying down and listening to the calm splash of the waves. The tide can be unpredictable here, so keeping attention is vital. Walking out along the sandbar can be an enjoyable place to take pictures. However, no restrooms or other amenities are nearby making it more suitable for a few hours rather than a whole day. Number three, Mochima National Park. Check to visit Mochima National Park if you're seeking a good beach on the Venezuelan mainland. On the northeastern coast, a protected region gives picture postcard vistas in all directions and many trees, hills, and plants. There are a lot of animals to see here, and you can even explore a few sandy beaches. Mochima National Park offers snorkeling, swimming, and even scuba diving opportunities. Local businesses also offer boat tours of the region and adjacent islands. In Venezuela, you may stay in some incredible inexpensive lodgings and yet spoil yourself with a bit of luxury. You have more options when choosing a place to unwind at the end of the day because this is a more affordable country to travel around than many other holiday destinations around the world. Number one, Pestana Caracas Premium City and Conference Hotel. The hotel's excellent location in the city allows guests to access the local stores easily. The hotel is cozy, the suites are spacious and elegant, and there are fantastic views from both the city street and the side-facing Avila. As a result, the hotel has a sauna and a steam room. You can see one of the best views in the city in the club on the 18th floor. One of the most excellent cheap hotels in Caracas, Venezuela, with fantastic views. Number two, Hotel Alex in Caracas. This hotel is a great value compared to the other four-star hotels in Caracas. It is highly new, which both helps and hurts it. Both the rooms in the entire facility are immaculate. 
The internet speed is lightning fast and the bed is quite comfortable. A lovely opulent hotel is conveniently close to numerous modes of transportation. It is located in the La Candelaria district, close to subway stops and the city center. The rooms are comfortable, the staff is friendly, the decor is contemporary and everything is clean. The quality of sleep is also excellent. Excellent lodging choice and undoubtedly among the top value hotels in Venezuela's capital city. Number one, Gran Malia Caracas Hotel. The Gran Malia is a fantastic choice if you're traveling for work. This beautiful hotel showcases opulent comfort in European style. There are numerous eateries on site and occasionally there are even live flamenco performances. The Sabana Grand neighborhood offers many other restaurants and shops to check out. There are meeting rooms that can accommodate large groups, which is a significant advantage for business travelers. The Sabana Grande subway stop is very close by. Number two, Intercontinental Tamanaco, Caracas. The Intercontinental brand is well known to upscale travelers and the location in Caracas is unquestionably worthwhile. It is close to Las Mercedes, a posh neighborhood close to places of business and shopping. The Simon Bolivar Caracas International Airport is only a 45 minute drive away. There are tennis courts nearby, an outdoor pool where you can take advantage of the lovely weather in the nation, and Lee Gourmet, one of the most excellent restaurants in town is right there. The village of El Hatilo's antique shopping, riding the cable car up the mountains, and simply soaking in the sunset are all popular things to do while visiting this area. Have you visited Venezuela? Please feel free to share your experience in the comment section. We hope you enjoyed our video about everything you need to know about your trip to Venezuela. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Please stick with us for more travel guide videos. Travel Guide Channel makes your travel easy.